Lita, my God. Hello. Lita is the most wanted uh, guest in my uh, podcast. You know that? The hardest to get to. <laughs> so thank you very much for coming. This mm-hmm. is a bit uh, formal, but I know that uh, I've been begging you to come to my podcast, and you didn't really say yes. True. So thank you very much for. I was Finally. under. I was under pressure. I said yes under pressure. Someone call help. <laughs> So, uh, because I asked you, right, you'll be the first guest. That's what I said earlier mm-hmm. when I about to uh, to make this podcast. But you said, and I, you know, it's like, what made you now say yes to me? Other than the pressure that I give you. <laughs> I think it's just the pressure. <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't even uh, realize it's gonna be this late, and I, I am sleepy right now. So, I'm sorry if I sound delirious. No, you, just, you sound good. All right, good. Do you want to say hello to first to that everyone there? Uh, hello everyone. You should know me. <laughs> it's not. I'm not being arrogant. You should know me if you watch this. So uh, <laughs> my name is Lita. I am Mr. Andy's daughter, <laughs> one and only. Yours truly. Uh, what? What else? All right. That's it. All right. So uh, one thing because we are speaking English now. Okay. This is a one billion dollar question actually from everybody. Mm-hmm. How did Lita start to learn English? Okay, tell me the story. Your version first. I'll probably say my version later on. All right. Th- that you remember. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm gonna say the scripted answer that I've always answered for this question. <laughs> uh, I've learned from YouTube most of the times. So, uh-huh. since I was born in Australia, mm-hmm. pe- uh, most of the people think that I learned English in Australia, which is mm. partially true, but. My first language was Indonesian because, well, we we usually spoke in Indonesian back in Australia. Right. Uh, and then I moved to Indonesia with you guys, obviously. And then that's when you put me in like an English speaking, like an international kindergarten, right? Yes. Uh, so you were at the time actually uh, when we came back. You're very small. Yeah. Like seven months. The first time. Th- right? The first time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, st- uh, like when you were, like two probably, yeah, we started to we send you to send you to that, to that uh, ki- uh, kindergarten, English speaking mm-hmm. kindergarten in Jogja. Okay, yeah. Right, yeah, and then. Wait, I was two. See, you don't remember this. Of course, I don't remember. <laughs> I haven't gained my consciousness. So okay, let me let, let me okay let me uh, tell you the the story from the beginning. You, were, right. you were born in Australia mm-hmm. in 2005. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, should I censor this? No, right, because you're young. What? <laughs> 2005, and then we came back to Indonesia in 2006. Yes, I know that. So by the time we arrived in Indonesia, you're only seven months old. Mm-hmm. So of course you didn't speak Indonesian, mm-hmm. nor English, mm-hmm. and then. Uh, basically, we stayed in Indonesia until you you were two and a half. Oh, when, I get that. Uh-huh. Yeah, two and a half. So, so basically, you're right that your first in- first language was Indonesian, mm-hmm. right? But when you st- when you were two, we sent you to the Kinder Station is the name, the English speaking TK. Uh-huh. Why? Because we knew that we are going to go. To, we were going to go to Australia. Oh. Six months later, when right. we were two and a half, uh-huh. for me to get my PhD. All right. And then we went to Australia uh, when you were two and a half, and you stay in Australia for uh, two more years. Later. Two more years, correct. Mm-hmm. So actually, at that time, you started to pick up English. Uh, English. All right. Did you remember uh, you went to? I remember the the place. What's it called? The uh, the, the other kinder station. The what Toraji. Is it called? Yeah, Tor- I remember that. I don't remember what the name was, <laughs> but I remember being somewhere over there. So basically, you very small at the time. So mm-hmm. b- by the time uh, we came back, like not that we came back, you actually came back to Indonesia first before me, mm-hmm. when you were about to be five. Yeah. Okay. So basically, you already in Indonesia when you're five. Mm-hmm. No reading, uh, no writing mm-hmm. of English. You could only speak English. So that's actually to clarify that you didn't really learn how to write and 
uh, write and read mm-hmm. English in Australia. And then what happened after that when you arrive in Indonesia, right? Because you you already have your. Well, I mean, I think mm. I remembered because I what's it called? Like I quote unquote gained consciousness in Australia, which means that I learned a lot of English back there. Right. Uh, when I moved to Indonesia, since you know obviously everyone spoke Indonesian here, mm-hmm. it's it kind of like what's it called? It kind of confused me a bit. Right. right so right. like I started mixing up my Indonesians and Englishes a lot, ah. and then uh, and then you put me in the other kinder station. Yes. 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 That's Correct. right. Mm, and then yes. that's where I started to learn proper English mm. without just mixing it with Indonesian. Right, right. Be, uh, actually, I didn't know about that part. The the one that I went to, uh, what's it called? Play group in my second, like... When, yeah. when you're two. Yeah, I didn't oh, know that. Okay. Actually, yeah, we, we did anything. it because we want to prepare you for your Australian journey. Okay. Okay, right. Yeah, you learn anything new every day. <laughs> All right. And then what? And then basically, basically, um, since I was kind of struggling mm. in like learning English, you right. told me to, uh, since I liked animals back in the days, I still do, not, not as maniac as, <laughs> as uh, when I was small, but right. uh, you told me to watch like, do- like animal documentaries on YouTube yes, with English mm-hmm, subtitles mm-hmm. Yes. so I could read and listen. And then I could speak properly, basically. Right. So yeah, I learned English from that. Mm. So basically, you you started to learn how to read in uh, in Indonesia, not in mm-hmm. Australia, right? Yes. Also, uh, let alone write, because right, it's it came a lot later. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you remember when you went to SD? <laughs> went to SD, and you started to learn English from your guru. Yes, I remember that should part. Should we should we uh, spill the name now here? Actually, don't spill her name. Okay. <laughs> I think she still works there. <laughs> you learn English from her. Uh, and then you remember the, the story that we always... Uh, yeah. The, yeah. The way I, I spoke English in Matua <laughs> uh-huh. So whenever you start to read at that time, I remember. Because I was still in Australia, I remember. Mm-hmm. We, we call each other, video call, whatever. Whenever you... Uh, spoke to me your English was perfect to me mm-hmm. but whenever I asked you to read mm-hmm. even in English it came out something like and this is and this is like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah like I was like shock T- tell me what happened at that time I don't remember okay it's just I think because um, my English teacher well they uh, they you know they re- uh, they what's it called? They spoke English like that, basically, right. yeah. with that accent, that Indonesian Johannese accent, mm-hmm. and then I just copied that. Mm. I thought that was right, basically. Correct. So, jadi ini penting bagi teman-teman tahu nih. Lita kalau ngomong bahasa Inggris tuh lancar waktu itu, tapi begitu membaca, langsung logat Jawanya keluar. Karena rupanya Lita mendengar dari guru yang membaca bahasa Inggris dengan cara begitu. Jadi luar biasa nih. How you copy it? Everybody copies, right? Basically. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, yeah. So that's how you learn English, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so basically, this is to clarify that you didn't really learn English like writing and reading in Australia. You started to learn that here in Indonesia. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, how did you? Uh, because you you write a lot now, quite a lot. Yes. How did it start? The 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 the, the, re- the, the reading. Sorry, the writing basically. The so, reading and the writing part. So I think if you're mm. talking about reading and writing, as in like reading actual books mm. like that, mm-hmm. it I think it started like I've, I've usually I like to read since I was young, mm-hmm. but the actual obsession mm. uh, started when I learned about warrior cats, mm. which is a which is those. Yes, if you could see that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they could. It's a. Uh, I think so. I don't know. Uh, anyways, it's a hmm. novel. It's a fable novel. Okay. Uh, written by Erin Hunter. Um, like, I, I I don't remember. How did you know that? Because I didn't really introduce you to that, right? No. To those novels. Like, how did you? It was YouTube, actually. Okay. So, well, I'm as a Gen Z kid. I've been 
exposed to the internet since a very young age. So right. there's a lot of weird stuff that comes on my timeline. Uh -huh. And Warrior Cats was one of that. And mm. then, um, first of all, I looked at it and, and I thought, what, what is this content from? Mm -hmm. So it turns out it was from a book. Right. And then um, I, I was really interested in it, actually. Mm. And then you told me that if I want to buy a book, then you would buy anything, no matter how expensive it is, okay, where right. to get it, even if it's hard to get, you will get me that book. And like, well, I mean, jackpot, right? And so right. I just asked you to buy me three series of that books. <laughs> Each series contains six books and it is like, very expensive Sorry. only found in amazon this is not sponsored by amazon <laughs> <laughs> so and then i got that and then the first the second the book arrived at our house i got into reading right yes. away i finished it was the, was it 2000 it was 15 15 or 16 15 it was 16, i was in correct. sixth grade yeah maybe 16 yeah. yeah i finished like the first series in around like half a month or so because mm. It was, yeah. Like the, the six of them. Yeah, six books in like half a month. Mm -hmm. It was it was actually really, like thinking back about it, like it's really shocking. But then I am, um, I read a lot as well, like right yeah. now. But not, not just, like it's not physical books. So yeah, I don't right, really right. realize that I read a lot. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. When you know that you read a book, like you can't really see how thick it yeah. is, right? But yeah. now actually, we actually also read a lot. Yeah. Because it's scattered, like uh, digital, so mm -hmm. we, sometimes you don't realize it. That's what you mean, right? Yeah. Okay. So, and then, um, spoken like a through, through, spoken like a true father, um, mm. you said that uh, the journey of uh, literature doesn't stop at reading you have to start writing as well and then me being the daughter uh, of course okay sure dad so then i started writing a fan fiction about warrior cats so basically uh, right after you read you read that yeah mm. i took some inspiration from the books and then mm. made my own canon lore uh canon lore is basically just what's it called it's the plot basically i okay. made my own plot okay so it it is but it's basically fan fiction mm. and then i think i finished like 75 percent percent of the book mm. and then i stopped because i think it was oh maybe not even 75 probably is it because it was not in, intended to be a book anyway like yeah, you just yeah, ask, yeah. i just ask you to just uh -huh. you know uh, try something yes. right? and so then. i think i start i i finished like one chapter yeah 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 i remember that and then i loosely made the second and third okay and the and then it stopped basically i mm. stopped writing that fan fiction yes but i think because of that because i started writing that fan fiction mm. i started consuming other contents from other fandoms okay so i started writing more fan fictions about other fandoms mm. and i think that's what that's what started my uh, writing obsession, writing talent, mm. that basically. Okay, all right. And then uh, maybe because we talk about the reading and writing, mm -hmm. uh, how did K-pop came? <laughs> come? All right, K-pop. <laughs> mm -hmm. K-pop. So I started being obsessed with K-pop since sixth grade. I'm not yeah. that obsessed right now, but um, yeah, things come and go basically. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, at that time, I think it was 2017. Yeah. It was there was a concert for one of my favorite back in the days favorite group which mm. is 101 yeah. RIP. They they've disbanded already. Right. So, it was their last concert, I think, and in, then I wanted to in Jakarta. In right. Jakarta, and I wanted to uh, attend it because, you know, last concerts, mm. you, you don't know when you're going to get another concert, right? Mm. So, I just I told you that I wanted to go there and then obviously being parents with the very expensive ticket how much was the ticket it was like three and a half million <laughs> I think yeah <laughs> it was very expensive and so you said uh, maybe not you know it's mm. it's like you're and then like I told you that uh, I remember you called? texted me you texted me yes this. I texted you uh, I quote now I remember uh, Aya you know they say you have to do uh, there are 10 things you have to do in life before you die mm -hmm. and one of them is 
watching the concert of your favorite band, especially if this is their last concert. Last concert. <laughs> exactly. I was guilt tripping him actually. <laughs> it was a very manipulative move. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. And then when I came back home, I remember the conversation that we had. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, it was a no. But then it was a like a it was a neg- maybe. Yeah, I mean, if you neg- do something. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, we no- we we negotiated about it, mm. and then you suggested me to write write a book. <laughs> First of all, uh, the book wasn't like you you told me to write a book about oh, what is what is about. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Basically, think, your view about yeah my view about things, my opinion about a few topics in life, basically. Right, and, and you then, were only twelve at a time. Yes, <laughs> so. He told me to write something very philosophical, uh-huh. which I, well, I mean, I could do it, <laughs> but I wasn't, like, I don't want to. So then <laughs> I, not into it yeah, yeah. I, w- I was not into that idea. But, but interesting, you said yes. Okay, of course, because of, of course that. I said yes, because then you would buy me a ticket. Right. But then um, mm. along the way, I thought like, okay, this is not going to work out. Mm. So, and then I looked at a few f- like old files in my iPad and then I found that old fan fiction I, that, I wrote oh, that, that you abandoned that I abandoned like two years ago one year ago basically maybe maybe like one year before yeah, yeah, yeah. one year and then you came and to me with with uh, my hope with my <laughs> hopes and with a lot of mirth and then I said can I just finish this one yeah and I, I remember you, you said this to me uh, my brain doesn't work Yes. On your topic, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> My brain would not cooperate with your topic. And then you, you uh, propose that uh, fan fiction. You continue the fan fiction into mm-hmm. a book, right? Yes. And then we agreed on that. You remember that the journey of you finishing that book? I don't remember, actually. I just remember, like, writing it. Because usually, like, especially writing something that I, that I like about, yeah, so that, it doesn't really lot, feel like mm. a lot of pressure, especially... Yeah, even though you know, being a father, a mother, Ibu, mm-hmm. when when we saw you like not really into your writing, we were nervous because the concert is coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, because we promised already, we 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 will only buy the the ticket if you finish the book. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So basically, we want to buy the ticket for you, but we just don't want to buy that without you finishing the book because that will be inconsistent or something like that mm-hmm. so we just really force you somehow mm-hmm. to you know I, I jokingly said to my to my friends you know even to ask a kid like her to mandi is difficult let alone to write a book mm-hmm. so you know the challenge but then oh my god you you made it right i made it and uh i, I really remember mm. oh there it is okay so this is the book that lita lita wrote uh a blooming tulip this is actually the title is from you. Yes. Everything is from you. Even the this uh, the, cover was actually yeah. you sketched it. I remember yes. that. Even though then they translated into, I mean the 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 the, the publisher. Yeah, the publisher. The publisher then translated into something. So this is actually Lita's book, one hundred something uh, pages, uh, and you wrote this one when you're only twelve. Yes. So before even year thirteen, basically, mm-hmm. and then the like a few days before the concert, and then we decided to buy your ticket. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And then you went to Jakarta. <laughs> I think I was already in Jakarta. I mean, like, I was in Jakarta, and then you guys came. I remember the f- the first time I saw the actual physical book. It was in Jakarta, right? Oh yeah, right. You you just, like you went there basically when when we processed the the printing. Mm-hmm. You went to Jakarta first, right? And mm-hmm. then we basically uh, went there yeah, to be with you, but not to be in the concert. Yes. N- not because we don't love you, whatever, because the concert was really expensive. Yes, you guys do not have <laughs> money. So, so basically, uh, what happened was that you went to the concert with, uh, with my cousin. Gita, mm-hmm. y- uh, your cousin, and Mama. Yes. Well, when you say mama, it, 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 it is not ibu, yeah. <laughs> mama means what? My is my booty, basically. Yes, your booty. So Who I call that, mama, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's that's what happened, right? So from you starting to learn the English in Australia, mm-hmm. but not reading and writing, you started reading and writing in Indonesia, mm-hmm. and then you published a book uh, 
that is basically the moti- the the biggest motivation for you to write the book is actually to watch the concert, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's about the book and also uh, bahasa. I think. Uh, do you remember by the back to uh, in Australia? What do you remember about Australia? Because you you so young at that time. There are a few things I remember. Mm. Like I still remember the layout of our apartment. Oh really? Which is which is an odd thing to remember. <laughs> I think especially a lot of things that I remember from my childhood is because that you guys always tease me about it, like, like about me <laughs> eating gula jawa <laughs> or me always wanting to drink water at night yeah, yeah, before yeah. you guys go to sleep. So it is not actually you do you remember, but you know it now, right? Yes, by, I don't. By yeah. us teasing you. I don't even know if it's true or not. You just you guys are just making <laughs> no, up these true, kind of stories. <laughs> so uh, dulu tu saya suka ini uh, bikin masalah sate whatever. Mm-hmm. Jelita akan datang. Aya, what is it Aya? Like, cheeky. Aya, what is it Aya? Ma- tahu what? maksudnya itu pasti pengen minta dan pengen makan. Yes. Can I try this Aya? <laughs> oh come on, Lita. Okay, come you can get it. <laughs> and then when when we were in the uh, bed mm-hmm. at night, because you wouldn't go to bed without us also sleeping with you. Mm-hmm. So me, because I'm a, a PhD student, so I really have to stay up late at night. Mm-hmm. So we just pretend to be honest with you. To sleep with you, and then we just keep talking, talking, talking. Ayah, da 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 da. Ibu, da 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 da. Kapan anak ini tidur? And then when we started to to pretend to sleep, and then you started at the middle of the night. Ibu, <laughs> mimi putih. <laughs> so that that word mimi putih means like ah. So basically, you just you just uh, found a reason to not sleep. To not sleep, basically. Yes. So you keep teasing Lita now mm-hmm. about that. That's how you remember. So you don't remember your your school or whatever. I don't know about my school. I mean, I do remember like a few things. Okay, this is probably embarrassing to say. I remember, I remember one of my classmates drinking pee. <laughs> really? That's a weird thing to remember too. <laughs> I think I remember one of my best friends. Not gonna tell her name because you know privacy. Um, I know her name. Of course, you know her name. <laughs> I don't know where she is now. Hmm. Uh, I think I remembered my first crush. I forgot his name though. I oh, think really? I remembered I had a crush, which is very embarrassing. Why would you from, have a crush? From where? Remember? What? Is she an, like an Aussie or maybe just I don't also remember who, who, what he looks I mean, like. I mean, for you, it doesn't really matter, right? Yeah. You might not remember this because when you say something about your friend, da 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 da, and then my question as an adult, as a conventional adult, like. Lita, are you talking about the Chinese guy, the Chinese boy? That's what I said. Is that what? Kids <laughs> don't mean, know what ethnicity. Exactly, <laughs> kid doesn't really recognize or differentiate race. Uh, ethnicity mm-hmm. or race, right? So that's actually it reminded me that oh, this is a very adult thing. This is which is which is not necessarily a good thing, mm-hmm. right? Anyway, so 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 this actually confirms that you you didn't really uh, learn that much in Australia when it comes to English. Yes. This is me telling like all the viewers now that if you really want to learn English, you can do it in Indonesia. And okay. you're the one of the bukti, right? Bukti. Um, okay, Lita, now you're how old are you now? Do you want to say it? I just turned 16. Just turned 16. I mean, you ago. just said I was born in 2005. People can do math. I there you go. <laughs> how is it like to be 16? It doesn't feel any different than 15. It's just, I mean... There's a birthday, people bought me, I mean, you guys bought me stuff, and then people said, happy birthday on Wea, on Instagram, mm. and just it, that's it. Nothing really changes. Okay. So, uh, okay, that's age. Uh, now about education, about the school. Yikes. Life. Okay. 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 Forget fun- pandemic. Forget pandemic. Mm-hmm. How do you, what is your view about, about school life? Okay, you can be honest here. Yeah? I don't have a personal opinion about education. I think my opinion about education is actually molded by the society itself. Because like people say education is important, you have yeah. to get education until until like S2 or S1. Mm. Like, I don't really know if it's actually important or not. But like people say it is, then like right. if it's if people say it is, then I mean why not? Okay. And so yeah, I think I think educational is imp- education. Education is important, right? Basically. So, how do you see uh, 
well, education and school, sometimes are they two different things? They are two different things. So how do you see it? Education in itself is important, but it's only it only works if the if the what's it called the school system. or like mm. yeah the system is doing it correctly, mm. which mm. is not the case in a lot of places in Indonesia. Okay. So uh, I'm lucky to have a very what's it called very good environment mm. educational mm. wise. Right. Um, which a lot of people don't aren't lucky enough to get that right 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 so yeah i think it's two different things basically right okay i i, I agree with you mm -hmm. now with global pandemic like this you studied your sma in 2020 with no nothing to go off of like i have no experience in sma yeah right basically I mean, okay how because you don't really know the difference anyway but what do you feel about that I don't know. I'm suddenly like back then because my whole entire ninth grade was like was done because uh, for like preparations for uh, UN. Yes. And then suddenly I didn't have any UN, and then like oh okay, shoot, and then suddenly it's PPDB, and then suddenly I'm M I'm SMA right now. Uh huh. And my mind is is still stuck in back. Uh, is still stuck in ninth grade. Mm. So like sna now. I'm almost like my second semester in eleventh grade, and I'm right. gonna I'm gonna go to twelfth grade. It's just it just doesn't feel like I'm in SMA right, right. now, because so no your your memory about school is still in SMP basically. Yeah, class. My nine. mental is still there basically. So like I have uh, what's it called? Because I don't mm. really feel it, it's SMA because it there I don't I don't experience all of the cliche yeah. stuff that right. people say happen in SMA. By the way, I remembered when you when you were about to go to SMA when you did ninth grade. Remember we talk about this quite a lot, meaning that oh nanti pas SMA, you, you remember that? Yes. Like I would do this, this, and that. That was too bad, right? I yeah, mean, really I didn't get to experience any of that. Uh, I remember that you. I was very happy at that time when you said to me. I want to be active in SMA. That's that's I think how I remember I said that, that. Yeah, I said that back in ninth grade. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, technically, I'm active. I join organizations and right. I I do stuff, but like it's right. just it's not. I don't Physical. do it physically. It's right. just through my phone, through the internet. Yeah, anything is on the phone, right? Yeah. I mean, okay, what are you doing, by the way? I mean, you, because you said that you're active, well, like in in what? in what organization if i may know if the viewers may know the viewers may know that i'm in osis okay but i think it's i'm in osis only because of what's it called so like i'm in c satu Krohanian. which is Krohanian. like uh only because there are only four people who is hindu in my school right. in the entire school which means everyone must join like this organization for in your in your in my batch. in my in my grade and my grade, the lower grade, basically. Oh, really? Only four? Only four people. So in, in your grade is... There's only two. Only two? And then you... two and... Yeah. Oh, right. Why is that surprising? I've been alone my entire life and now I have yeah. friends, which is cool. Cool. Oh, yeah, correct. When you're in SD... I had no one in my grade. In your grade, you're alone Hindu. Yes. In SMP, the same. Mm -hmm. In SMA, at least now you have... One person yeah so oh, i can that's uh, progress yeah that's progress i guess <laughs> it's it's it it's good to have someone to ask answers for because <laughs> i didn't do that who's but who's your, your best by the way uh is it okay oh, a, a girl a boy a girl I, a girl okay a girl. i think i think you remember i think you remember her okay oh so you're active in that office mm -hmm. what are you doing wait apart from that because i heard that you help also other uh, uh religious organization to celebrate something is it uh, that's that's the uh what's it called basically it's a it's a uh what's it called like a mother organization consisting okay. of the non-islams all oh, right all right okay okay so uh because the catholics and uh, uh Christian. christians mm. they celebrate christmas okay. basically and then us as the minority we also have to help them all oh, right all prepare right. christmas and then back in christmas 2020 mm -hmm. i helped with because the christmas is online so i need to help with the lighting and then 
the so this kind of audio thingy. Basically, you you hijack mine for yes. I don't know, like two or three weeks, I think. Yeah. Uh huh. Exactly. <laughs> And then it's it's starting again now. We're also, my green screen, I remember. Oh that. yeah, yeah, the green screen too. Yeah, so that that's also a thing. I'm also a one of the managers for the basketball team right. in our yeah okay. in our school basically. Okay, good. So, so you're you're still active technically, mm-hmm. even though in reality, it's, you not, don't, not I don't much really physical. do much. Yeah. Yeah, but you went out, right? I remember. Uh, yeah, I did. Once in a while, uh, for activity. That's that's a that's for the basket manager. Mm-hmm. Basketball manager. So as a manager, what what do you do there? I just sit around basically. I think I I do most of the administration. All right. Um, stuff like the what's it called? Regis- the first Regis- aid kit. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And then anything else? Just just that basically. Registration, no. So you don't deal with money. I I do deal with money. Okay, all right. So you don't play. Of course, I don't play. Manager, right? Well, I mean, I could play if I want. I wouldn't yeah, yeah. be good, anyways. <laughs> all right. So I'm I'm happy actually for you to be active, Lita, in mm-hmm. that uh, uh, organization, even though it's not as uh, you know maybe exciting as uh, what, what I expected. Yeah. Yeah, expected. Okay. Now go back to family. No, let's go back. Let, let's let's talk about family now. Uh, your uh, siblings? I have zero siblings. You have zero siblings. So you're the only daughter. Well, I have a cousin who lives here, which I mean, it could be considered as a sibling. Yes. Okay. We have four now in the house, right? Four people. Yeah. Okay. Well, like people sometimes ask you, right? They're like, what is your family like? Or. I don't know what you want me to answer for that, because, like, what exactly did that question mean? Like, what is yeah. your family like? Well, my family is like other pam- like other families. <laughs> right. They're like a family. Like, what do you expect? Mm. We have our ups and downs, our flaws, our what's it called, our greatness, basically. Yeah. I mean, it's it's just like other normal families. Maybe just because you're famous doesn't mean you're a dad. <laughs> you know. Well, people sometimes ask me that. I mean, ask you through me. How is it like to be Pa Andy's daughter? Yeah, a lot of people actually <laughs> ask that. How is it like being Pa Andy's daughter? It's like being your father's daughter. It's just Pa Andy is a little bit more busier, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, uh, no intimidation to you, like you know, like. No. <laughs> people usually ask me actually, "Is your father intimidating?" No, he's a dork. <laughs> He's no different than any other father. Right, just a mediocre, I think. Just a mediocre you. father. Hmm. So, uh, what does it do to you? For example, in in social media, or does it do anything? I mean, kind of. I mean, I get I get recognized a lot when I say your name. Like, <laughs> people would say, "Oh, you seem familiar," and then I said, "Um, Bandy. Oh, he's your father. <laughs> yes, he's my father." All right. I remember when you when your friends you told me, uh, your friends ask you anything because uh, my my face appeared in in every single platform on the <laughs> internet, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. Everything is filled with your face. Uh, well, not everything, but they're probably quite uh, the quite popular a lot. ones. I don't yeah. know about Facebook though. Well, better not. You better not. <laughs> Gen Z does uh, don't go to uh, Facebook, right? Mm-hmm. So, ebook. Tell me about ebook. Maybe people less uh, know about, like uh, less understand. Is it the right word? Uh, they know less. They know less about ebook. All right. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about ebook. Ebook is ebook is like normal normal ebook. You know, <laughs> she she sometimes scolds me for things I do. She tells me things a lot of times. Right. She repeats a lot of her nasihat. <laughs> Like a normal mother. Right. Lita. Especially because I'm about to um, graduate from SMA now. She's always talking mm. about, Ta, ini, uh, kamu harus sudah tahu ya. Ini kamu mau, kuliahnya mau di mana, mau ngapain, jurusannya apa, mau di, mau di mana kuliahnya, mau di luar negeri, apa mau di sini. Yeah, mm. I, I listen to that kind of lecture every time. 
and uh, honestly it's it's getting boring but i mean i get that her, she's just trying to do her best as her mother right. her mother I, my mother <laughs> okay uh because we, we speak uh, uh, uh bilingual in this house tell tell, tell the viewers more it's about it's actually that. more like trilingual my mom sometimes speak mock korean which what? mock korean is basically just he, she, oh, korean. oh right right, right, right. she she speaks she pretended she to. pretends to be speaking korean <laughs> Which I mean, I get she she watches a lot of K dramas, mm -mm. Uh, but about that bilingual thing, I think um, what really what I see the impact it does to me yeah. is that people usually are amazed by that because like mm. usually, for example, I'm on the phone with my friends yes. discussing things, and then um, like Ibu would come, mm -hmm. and then we would talk in Indonesian, right? Right. And then you would sometimes like call, call or, yeah. and with that, when I was with my friends, mm. and then I w we would talk, we would speak in English, right. and then it's gonna be like, "Ih, kamu bisa ya gitu? What? Apa? Kamu barusan ngomong dua bahasa gitu? I mean, yeah." Yeah, so that's like, actually you know for for a lot of people probably it's it's a bit. Uh, how does it start? Uh, how did it start? Do you remember that? I I think it's because you always talk to me with English. Yeah, because okay, at that time I I I was afraid you losing your English. Mm -hmm. That's basically the technical reason. Do you know why? Why? Because to send you to English course is expensive. <laughs> All right, no, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> so you better keep your English, otherwise I wouldn't have money to send you. To I don't think <laughs> I could lose my English anymore. I can't even I can't even write in Indonesian properly right now because I write a lot in English. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that, that's also that's also because of this uh, pandemic yes, somehow. True. Because you spend too much of your time on your own, if I may say, mm -hmm. and then you just uh, choose to write and read in English, right? Yes. Okay. So, so that's that's how uh, it works. Di rumah ini kalau saya sama Lita tuh pasti otomatis bahasa Inggris, sama ibunya akan bahasa Indonesia. It has nothing to do with gaya or being snob, right? Just that's just, that's just natural. Our, yeah. Uh, jadi, how about Japanese, by the way, because you're. Well, Jawa. sometimes I speak to Ibu with Japanese ngoko, which is very <laughs> offensive to a lot of you people speaking Japanese. But I mean, it's fine here. Everybody understands that I couldn't speak Japanese, so. How about with Mba? With Mba is is well, I mean, it's the same. Mba also doesn't. Mba also understands that I couldn't speak Kromo, so I mean, yeah, it just happens. Usually, ibu is the one who says, "Tak ngomong sama mbah buat bosok kromo, gak bisa." Ya udah. Balinese. I have no skill in Balinese. I I I could, it's like sometimes I switch accents. Uh huh. Uh, it also happens in English because I listen. My content is basically American and British English. Mm, mm. So I sometimes I switch between those. In Indonesian, I sometimes switch between. Normal Indonesian, Javanese, and Balinese, yes, and every right. time I s I switch to Balinese, everybody is gonna start teasing me. <laughs> Bali tiba tiba. <laughs> Jangan nak gitu nak. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I think I think you're very good in in uh, switching that uh, accent, even though uh, vocabulary wise, maybe you're not really rich in Javanese or Balinese, mm -hmm. but in switching the accent. Fantastic. You're Wait. fantastic. Why? Why did you do that? <laughs> That's uh, it's Indian. Indian, yes. For your information. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Uh, so, do you want to say anything about Ibu anymore? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, Ibu is... She's, she isn't that really special as a mother. She's just like any other mother. Like, look at your mother and then you look at my mom. Okay. Exact same thing. All right. Uh, now, uh, okay, Lita. I know that you consume a lot of contents from outside. Mm -hmm. I mean, outside Indonesia. Yes. You 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 certainly know a lot more of what happens in the U.S. or the U.K. in terms of this young people's life. Yeah. I, I mean, guess. at least from the. So basically, physically, you're in Jogja. But your mind, maybe not really. No, I uh, think. Yeah. Tell me, tell me more about that. I don't know what to tell you, honestly. It's mm. like, well, I mean, uh, because 
like like it is it is possible for you not to know anything about a song that is trending in Indonesia. Yeah, true. Right? Mm-hmm. With you living in Indonesia. Mm-hmm. Like how does it work? Because for my generation I don't get it. Because you should know mendung tanpa udan, you know that? What? Exactly, see? <laughs> That right. is that is viral. That's very popular. I know. Na, 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 na. Oh, I know that. I just yeah. don't know what the name was. It's trending on TikTok, basically. Yes. So, 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 PC, you didn't pay attention to that, right? Mm-hmm. But you know quite a lot what happened in the US and 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 UK, for example. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Like people need to know this. Like my age. I think how, how can it's... people, uh, someone like you, know? more about something happening outside than things happening in the country. I think it's because, you know, the internet is very it's very fast basically. Mm, so yeah. and then also because there's this thing how mm. people would actually pay much more attention to things outside of their zone. Right. So like right. Indonesian people would usually consume a lot more Western contents or like southern contents. And then people from those areas would actually consume a lot of things outside of their own countries. It's, it's basically the same in everywhere. All right. So, yeah. So it's so, it's so just they that tend to know, they tend to consume something outside of their the um, area. Okay. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah. That's basically that. It's, it's not. It's not that I don't want to consume Indonesian content. Mm. It's just that a lot of my a lot of the things that I choose, well, I mean, yeah. not choose, like a lot of things that I enjoy come from okay. outside of Indonesia. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, with that, uh, don't uh, don't you worry about the if people sometimes ask you that you lose your Indonesians or, you know. Well, I mean, what character. exactly, what exactly is losing Indonesian character? Like, Indonesian character is made up, every, every single character is made up, basically. Okay. So it doesn't, I don't know. You know, it's just. I mean, I'm I'm being me. I guess that that's right. what matters. Yes, yes, yes. Correct. So, like, even even if we talk about Indonesian, uh, the fact is that we don't really see all the Indonesian people are the same. Yes, exactly. Right? So basically, we come to the individuals, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh, now, social media. You're active in social media. How how active are you in social media, or what are you active in? Mm, I am like. Social media is weird. So mm. like I consume stuff in social media. I don't really give. Okay. I just take. That's a song. Okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I use YouTube a lot. Mm. Like the the most used app is YouTube, mostly because, well, YouTube. Who doesn't use YouTube? Right, right. And then, I um I'm on Twitter a lot. I guess. Okay. Um, other social like I'm not on Instagram a lot. Mm. Um, Wattpad. I think I've I've already lost my interest in Wattpad. I'm now migrating. I've migrated. I mean to okay. another website called Ao3 or Archive for Our Own. Okay. There's a lot of users. There's like four million or like four billion, four million users there. All right. Uh, it's a very good writing platform for you guys for people who um are already experienced uh, so like not the one who not a, who like amateurs yeah so like people who want to start writing mm-hmm. you could use wattpad okay. as like one of the uh what's it called most common maybe only. yeah platforms for like writing but if right. you already a bit more experienced then you could move to ao3 because there's a lot of good content there Okay. Just saying, you know, not sponsored right. by you three. <laughs> yeah. So, so you now, uh, you you wrote, uh, on in you three. Yes. Okay. What are you writing, Barry? A lot of fan fiction, actually. Okay. I like have seven. So y- do you create your own story? I mean, like, okay, of course, fan fiction. Even fan fiction, you create your fan fiction. Mm-hmm. Like, apart from the fan fiction, do you create your own? I don't know universe, like. Or a story or ge- not, genre? Not really, no. Mm-hmm. Because uh, that that takes a lot of brain juice and I am not dedicated to that. Ah. You get what I mean? No. Alright then. So, like making your own canon is... It mm. takes up a lot of 
what like a lot of imaginations creativity okay. which i am not really dedicated to doing okay because like i'm afraid if i have an idea and i, I just start to sketch out that idea and then i suddenly lose interest it's just gonna be abandoned like that okay and that's just gonna be a waste of my time uh. so i i prefer to do content like to expand from a fandom that that okay. has already that already has canon all right it's all right. much more easier and it's much more flexible basically mm, mm. especially when your content is um what's it called like they're open towards fan fictions because uh, there are a few fandoms who are not open to fan fiction okay okay so it's, all right. it's easier to make fan content so how do you write in that like you you write one full story and then that's it or or like a, a what do you call it a, a, s- a chaptered chaptered is it yes So it depends on how long I want the fic to be. So like okay. I usually write like one mm. shots. One shot it's is basically um a short story. Right. But but the short stories are usually like 12,000 mm. words, 15,000 words. So I usually wrote that those kind of types of ah. stories. And uh, it's like a one off like a oh no. It's like, just yeah, that's just one Okay. one story. You could in, in what in bas in English in, in English I in could English. not read I could not write in bas anymore this is very mm. upsetting uh, I do write a lot I do write some chaptered yeah I re- I wrote like three chaptered uh. fan fictions that are completed in uh, one of them are in Wattpad one of them are in Yo3 right one of them I haven't published yet okay I don't think I want to but you know who knows all right. Uh, and then what? So, uh, when you say complete, how long is it? A complete story that you meant? The maybe words. Okay, the words. The one on Ao3, the the chaptered one is like forty forty eight thousand thousand words. Wow, that's a lot. The others are like twelve thousand. There's one twenty nine thousand um twenty one. I think the shortest one is like the short one. The shortest one is twelve thousand. H- how do you write? Like you mood. Mood. Based? It is mood. It is mood based. Ah. It is. I think a lot of a lot of because I have a lot of drafts in ah. my Google Docs. Uh, there's a lot of unfinished stories that ah. I like, like in the in the like a sudden burst burst of imagination and oh my god I need to write this so I started writing it ah. and then uh, like. 5000 words um in the future I like okay. okay I don't think this is going to work out and then I just abandoned it abandoned and then if I get another burst of imagination then okay let's write it again that's okay. usually what happens until I reach oh, uh, right. a good amount of words to publish okay so everything is everything is in the cloud yeah everything Basically. yes how did you like what what do you use to write uh just google docs i guess i mean like phone or, or laptop I used to write on phone. Oh my god. Because uh, for that. for Wattpad it's much easier to write on phone, but mm-hmm. now since I've migrated to Air3, Air3 doesn't have a mobile. It, called? it Mo- uh, it doesn't have a uh like saving system, so you couldn't write in in Air3 without it getting erased. Oh really? Yes. So you have to do it in the laptop first. So I have to do offline. it. I have to do it on Google Docs, which I uh, oh, which oh, is sorry. easier. Okay, but but okay. But I still could write it on on my phone. Oh yeah, yeah, because it is Google Doc anyway, right? Mm-hmm. But I think it's much easier now to write on my laptop. I don't know hmm. why, because it's easy. I think it's because of autocorrect. All uh, right. You know, I was worried actually when you keep writing on the phone because to why? me, like, you're very concerned. Why? 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 apa enggak sulit tuh you know I mean, like mm-hmm. okay uh, <laughs> anyway that's writing mm-hmm. so do you do you want to publish your just like this no 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 no, no 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 uh, why that one that is a special occasion where i write something that is what's it called under in- that is, intimidation or? no not under <laughs> intimidation something that is worth publishing Mm-hmm. Not not saying that my others are worth publishing. The others mm. are probably not. Probably what's oh, okay. it called? Illegitimate. Illig- 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 it's basically Illig- not. Illig- yes. Okay. It's basically not worth 
not worth publishing. I feel like it's it's how do I okay, say this? Okay, maybe. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to publish it. Maybe not. It's not Ellie. okay to okay, be published. Okay, okay to be published. Okay, content-wise, maybe issue that you raised. Both yeah. of them. Um, I think it's probably because the the plot. Okay. Uh, there's a lot. A lot of my my writings are about. It's it's angst. Angst is basically the sad parts. Okay. Usually about abuse. Uh. Um. What's it called? Violence. Mm, a lot of graphic mm. violence. And right. um, also because it is because I write about fan fiction, then mm. a lot of it is actually copyrighted by someone else, which ah, means I couldn't really? publish it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Technical issue. Lita. Uh, a lot of people ask me about future of education. I mean, your education. My education. I yeah. do not know about any of my future. <laughs> I don't so, even know. Okay, uh, p- put it simple like this. What do you want? Do you want to study in the future? What do you want to study? What is your interest? Okay. Maybe not very clear as at the moment. Not very clear at the moment. But, but, if, but you, if you have to say one or two or three. If I w- if I should like pick mm. pick now, mm. I'd probably pick um, psychology because. Okay. You know, yeah, dealing with mental issues okay. is very hard, especially in this like in this kind of era. Right. And I want to be someone to, to someone who could help, especially that's, that's teenagers nice. like me, because I've experienced mental issues before. Right. Also, without any like professional help. Right. So I wanted to help kids who suffer like okay. mental issues like mine too. How about in school? Do you think uh, because you said that you didn't really manage to seek for help like a proper Mm -hmm. in school is it available it is available is it worth it that's no that's not the yes so like um Mm. what's it called like all of the all of the guru beka that i've taught i've spoken to like if i wanted to ask for like counseling right a lot of them will actually answer a lot like the question the answers the typical answers that everyone would give you if you ask the same question to mm. like literally anyone which does not help at all okay so i just tend to uh you know just why why even do it mm, mm, mm. so you don't really if i may say in the plain language uh put your trust on them true Okay. Mm-hmm. Especially because if you wanna, what's it called? If you wanna, uh, jurhat basically right. the guru beka, like your privacy is not, um, Safe. is not, was it, terjamin. Right. Okay. Not because guaranteed. Like, yeah, not guaranteed because a lot of teachers like I have heard a lot of horror stories about teachers telling other teachers about, like their the, issue the that issues that their child their students have, which is ethnic ethically not good right right so right, like right. i just don't really try to speak to teachers mm, a lot mm. even though some people say why are you like this you want to talk to me no okay by the way when i i remember when we talk about this kind of thing with other people mm-hmm. when they they have uh, children having that i think i like the way you you uh say your opinion about that to advise uh old people basically about how to deal with uh, young people mm-hmm. how do you learn that well i mean well yeah it's social media basically so mm-hmm. a lot of like my my tiktok is filled with a lot of mental issue mental awareness mental issue okay. awareness mm-hmm. so i've learned a lot about different types of um mental issues which could be easily mm. what's it called easily prevented slash uh, treated not actually treated okay. like cope, cope. Like people okay, would that's, cope that's a, mm. cope easier with these kind of mental issues if they had a proper environment which is right, which right. is not available yet in indonesia as far as i can see okay so, interesting yeah so tiktok is not only about joget joget eh? of course not even like none of my tiktoks is about joget joget <laughs> all right uh, Rita, uh, i have by the way a number of questions for you oh. from the Netizen. Ooh, yikes. Lightning uh, round. Lightning round questions. Okay. This is from Instagram. This is from Instagram. Now look at me, I changed accent. 
<laughs> no, I, I'll, I'll, oh, oh my god, you have prestasi tertinggi that you think. What? Your achievement? Isn't, like, isn't, as in formal yeah, achievement? Maybe, yeah, maybe, formal. I think it's the writing contest, the international writing contest. Okay, right, 2006, uh, no, no, 18? 18, 18. I think so. <laughs> okay. Lita bangga gak sama ayah? <laughs> This is another question. <laughs> should you, should you, should you, pun, you, should you, what, what do I, what do I answer for this? <laughs> like, bangga is in like, oh, my dad is so cool. Uh. No, he isn't. But, <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure, I guess. Okay. Uh, but when you see uh, ayah dikerubutin fans, what do you think? Are you dikerubutin fans? <laughs> You Are you guys okay? You don't even know that, right? Okay. No. Um, oh, okay. My question. When you were seven. You When went, I was seven. Yeah, you went to Bali uh, by plane. Oh, yes. Okay. I with yourself. That. Mm-hmm. Tell me about that a little bit. What? Okay, so... So basically, you went to Bali by yourself, without yeah. me, without anyone, right? Mm-hmm. What is it, your? It was, what do you remember about that? I don't remember a lot of things. Like I, I just remember it being very normal, uh-huh. because. Um, so you didn't feel scared. I didn't feel scared at all, because it it was like it was like riding a normal airplane, like a, a right. normal travel. But but that no, I do. nobody that you knew uh, next to you. Yes, and that's why I looked for attention. <laughs> I started speaking English to exactly. my to my toy, so to my plushie. <laughs> And there was a bule right next to me, and this bule was like, "Oh, hello! You speak English?" <laughs> and then yeah, and then we started a conversation. I don't remember what it was about, but there was a conversation there. Yeah. So basically, you you're sitting next to a bule. That's mm-hmm. what I remember. Yeah. And then, uh, because you're so small, and the bule was very polite, mm-hmm. didn't want to touch you or talk yeah. to you, right? Because mm-hmm. that's actually the ethics that yes, they hold exactly. on to. But then you seek for it uh, attention by playing this. Puppet? Yes. Uh, is it right? Mm-hmm. Or, or uh, uh, dolls? I don't exactly know what, but it's but that. In basically. English. Yeah, in English. And then uh, she paid attention because you're you're young, you're small, n- with nobody, mm-hmm. and you spoke English. And then the lady started to, uh, you know, uh, like paying attention to mm-hmm. you, right? And then I remember you're uh, with a lot of candies. Oh yeah, that's Coming true. out from the uh, plane because mm-hmm. you said. Almost all of half of the passengers then paid attention to you, and they realized that you're with no one there. Yeah. And everybody gave you this. Uh, I don't candy. know. Why do they do that? <laughs> Isn't that like a red flag now? Like, don't follow men with candy. Exactly. They give me candy. Oh my god. So yeah, that, that's jadi Lita dulu itu uh, pada umur tujuh tahun berangkat ke Bali sendiri naik pesawat. Uh, it was not a easy decision, but uh, yeah. Yeah, we decided to do that. It was not an easy decision to you. Yeah, of course. For you, it it's was like I didn't have easy any choice. <laughs> But then it was it was a very good start, right? And then after that, you I did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really a couple of times, right? Okay. Uh, cita cita. Next question. <laughs> I do not know what my cita cita is. All right. I don't know what I want to be, honestly. Uh, this is once again. What do you feel to be Pa Andi's daughter? Why is always a question? Okay, I, I'll read here. Okay, I, okay. I'm not making this up. Okay, apa yang dirasakan Lita sebagai putri dari Pa Andi, who is quite humble. With any, I'm reading it. No, like I'm not making this up. I mean, he is humble. <laughs> like, uh, what's it called? Like from the outsider's point of view, he is humble. <laughs> like to me, I don't know. I don't see. I mean, he is humble. I do see it. It's just that it's I don't just really. Biasa, yeah, it's right? just biasa. Biasa. It's just okay. normal human decency, I guess. Be okay. humble. Things that you don't like about your father. A lot. I don't think it's okay for me to tell, say any of these. <laughs> I'll say say one or two, maybe one. One or two. You are a very uh, not strict. You mm. are a very disciplined person. Which sometimes is good, sometimes I don't like because, you know, every time he comes into my room, I have to say, uh, <laughs> because my room is always messy, <laughs> and that's always that that has always been a topic of debate between us two. 
because he's always talking about you need to clean your room, Miss Lady. <laughs> like, okay, fine. I'll clean up my room. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. I know that you don't really like that that much, but I will keep doing it, I promise. Tipe cowok Lita. Kayak Jake and Hypen. Who's that? <laughs> So okay, but may, maybe maybe a more straightforward question. Do you have pachar at the moment? I don't want one. Okay, that's no, clear. Lita kok bisa lahir di Australia? My mom conceived me in Australia. She lived there for nine months, and then she pushed me. Uh, she didn't push me out. She she got her stomach cut, and then <laughs> I came out. Yeah, basically, karena saya dulu sekolah di Australia uh, sama pasti. Yes. Um, okay, TOEFL, because we had this game uh, family TOEFL thing. Okay. Tell us more about that, because I like you participating really well in that in that family game. Um, it's TOEFL is basically like the the style of uh, the questions are basically mm. what I've been what I've been what what I've been solving my entire life mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. a lot of a lot of the english questions easy that like i that. do in school is exactly like that so it's easy i guess okay for me uh do you have any tips Rita? because okay once again we have to remind people that you did not learn how to write and read in australia so mm-hmm. they have to understand this right because you, you studied in indonesia anyway mm-hmm. not outside i think it's like I don't really give I don't know about tips mm. about like um well like reading comprehension for example uh-huh. because you just need to well, it's called reading comprehension that's that's your thing you need to do that on your own mm. um okay grammar wise I personally I don't know about grammar <laughs> okay I have n- I have zero knowledge about grammar it's just it comes naturally for me so i'm sorry about that no tips for grammar about listening though i think if you want to enhance your listening mm-hmm. it would be nice to watch a lot of movies okay with um with surprise sub- with subtitle or without subtitle it's up to you i think subtitle it should be, be in english yes yeah, subtitle should be in english that's that's true all right so i think it would be nice for you to get used okay. to english language like Uh, pronunciations um like the intonations as well because okay. it's always different um also uh like watch a right. lot of content in a lot in like other accents not just american okay because you know that could also help with listening basically all right other tips. last question probably. okay last question tertarik sama geodesi enggak no tertarik jadi dokter enggak no okay that's complete All right, Lita. Uh, there are a lot of questions actually, but I uh, thank you so much once again for uh, taking the time. <laughs> uh, oh, that's, that's there's a cap. commotion <laughs> out there, people. <laughs> Sorry about the fight. Do you have any anything to say or a question to ask? Oh God, anything to say? Anything I mean, to I say. guess. Yes, please, please I say, mean, say I guess something. It's it's been an honor. I am. I'm definitely not at gunpoint right now to say this <laughs> it uh, it's been an honor to be on this very um what's it called what's it called sophisticated Not or sophisticated uh, a very huh, I, don't, i forgot the word in english God. Mm. I, i suddenly could not english basically mm. i'm happy to be here you know it's it's a very prestigious there you mm. so very prestigious program Oh my God, uh, Lita! Uh, I've had uh, I've had a rector, a researcher, a scholarship hunters, and sit in this very chair. And it is it is official. You're my most favorite guest. Obviously. Thank you so much. Yes. All right. Say bye bye to everyone. Bye bye. Thank bye-bye. you so much. Bye bye.